Um, I have a lot of friends and family that are seeing my pictures, especially when I post them on Facebook or Instagram. And I get the question, well, actually, Christine, what, what is this neurographics? What is this all about? And uh, I'm more than happy to talk to you about this today. So let me switch my camera to my drawing pad because I will be then able to make this visual, more visual for you. Now, the question is really about neurographic. What is neurographics? And I'm just abbreviating it here as NG. And so the question is, what is it? And we tend to call neurographic a creative transformation method. Now, let me talk about this. So creative, what does this stand for? With neurographic, we are creating. We are creating pictures. We are creating drawings. And at the same time, we are creating a new type of thinking. And we are changing our lives. So we are creating a new way of life for us by using this great tool of neurographics. And the pictures that um, come out of it are pretty nice. So uh, I guess everyone who has been drawing neurographic for some time has created some really great artwork. And even if you're not an artist, I'm definitely not an artist. Uh, and still I like my pictures and I get feedback from many others that they like them too. So uh, this is my way of, of literally um, looking into creativity and looking into um, becoming an artist without having any knowledge about drawing at all. So um, if you, if you, if you're saying, well, I'm, it, that's, that would be great, but I really can't draw. <laughs> I was at the exact same place when I started neurographics. So no, no, um, no, reason for not starting it. Uh, as soon as you can hold a pen and draw lines and write, then this is for you. Now we said creative transformation method. So we are transforming. We are transforming our thoughts. We are transforming our lives, actually. So many things have changed in my life since I started um, using neurographics. And so many of my clients have told me that they had great, great, great changes um, based on the work that we've done together. Transformation, so everything in, in neurographic is about change. If you don't want to change, then neurographic. Well, you could look at it from an artist um, point of view, but you could probably also just go on and draw pictures. But if you want to change anything in your life, if there is anything in your life that you say, well, I guess there is room for improvement or it's great already, but hey, there is always something to improve, then neurographic is the way for you. And we said it's a creative transformation method. So neurographic really is based on um, what we call algorithms. And the number one algorithm or the most important algorithm that you need to learn is the basic algorithm. And the basic algorithm is taught in the basic course, of course. And there are some basic courses online. Uh, there are some basic courses offline. If you want to do a course with me, then please drop me an email and we will find a way. Um, I have different courses planned over the course of the year and we will make sure that you can jump on the most um, recent one. Now, neurographic could also be called a language. And of course, it's a visual language. And in neurographics, we usually, or we, we mainly work with four letters. It's triangles, it's quadrants, 
is circles and circles really are the most important ones together with something that's unique to neurographic and that is the neurographic line so it's the ng line the neurographic line or it's also called the piscariof line and why that because dr pavel piscariof has developed founded created and is still developing this fantastic method of neurographic now dr piscariof he is um, by education he is um, an architect but he also worked as a business coach for many many years and he also has looked into the more spiritual way of life so he's also a tai chi master for example and um, he is a doctor of philosophy and doctor of uh, psychology so a personality with a lot of different aspects a lot of different knowledge a lot of different wisdom uh, and, and and broad wisdom based on that and this really flows into neurographic so neurographic is based on scientific findings and includes a lot of the knowledge a lot of the wisdom from dr pavel piskaryov now neurographics so so like like pavel like dr piskaryov is linking the business world with the more spiritual world the world that looks more into the personality and the, the soul, the, the inner feeling of people. Neurographic also can be looked at as a bridge. And it's a bridge between the subconscious and our conscious. Now, where is this important? There are so many things that we know we're unhappy about, that we know what the reason is. So we are conscious about them. But on the other hand, there are so many things where there is something that's not quite right. It doesn't feel right, but we really don't know what the reason is. So our subconscious know there is something wrong, but we consciously cannot, cannot really grasp it, what it is. And there is where, where neurographic is such a big help because by drawing, by putting things on paper, we suddenly see something because our subconscious is drawing together with us. So we see things coming up, appearing on paper that we were not conscious about and we become conscious about it. So this is why we call it a bridge between the subconscious and the conscious. And the other thing that neurographic is absolutely great for is communication. So neurographic can be used as a coaching tool or therapy um, tool for individuals, but also for teams. So it's the only method I really know that can be used for both and can even combine the two. So you could start um, working with neurographics with individuals and then combine their drawings into one bigger picture. And then as a team, you continue and you link all those individual drawings together. And by that, you create a great sense of team. So a fantastic method for team building and not only for team building from an emotional perspective, but neurographic is always working with specific topics. So whenever we draw neurographic, we're working on a topic and we can do exactly the same when working with teams. So if you have a common goal you want to achieve, if you want to build excitement about a specific objective you have with your team, neurographic is absolutely a way to go with. Now, I hope I have given you a bit more insight into what is neurographics and maybe made, it, made you even more curious because you now want to really start putting pen to paper and, and make your own drawings, your own neurographics and change your life with it. So there will be a few more videos about the basics of neurographic. And then of course, we'll start courses so that you can jump on and you can make sure that you also can 
take advantage of this fantastic method, um, neurographics that can change your life for the better. Thank you.